we live in a world where disasters are happening more often and becoming more severe. In New Zealand there is more and more people living closer together and we have an ever increasing reliance on technology. That leaves us vulnerable. As a result, when there's an emergency, there can be significant impact on our lives, our homes and land, our friends and communities, our natural environment, our schools, businesses and all our infrastructure, including power, roads, telecommunications, water and wastewater systems, can all be affected. Civil Defence Emergency Management operates through all levels of government. The Ministry in Wellington provides leadership and national coordination. The local Civil Defence Emergency Management groups are managed by regional councils. Together with other organisations, they are responsible for putting national frameworks into practice at local level. Tying it all together is a common vision of resilient New Zealand communities understanding and managing their hazards. Our work is much broader than most people realise. We talk about the four R's, reduction, readiness, response and recovery. We're always working to reduce the impacts of hazards, research, risk management and partnerships with other organisations. The better we understand our hazards, the better we can work to minimise the impact of an emergency. We continuously plan, train, practice and prepare so we can be as ready as possible. We have huge networks across government and communities that are ready to swing into action if needed. We also work hard at educating the public to give people the tools and information they need to be prepared. When an emergency happens, all the work we've been doing to reduce the impact of our hazards and to get ready helps us respond more effectively. We coordinate multiple agencies and use our networks across the community. We make vital decisions as the emergency evolves and prioritise and coordinate help where it is most needed. But it doesn't end there. It can take people and communities weeks, months or even years to recover from an emergency. We use our networks and our pre-planning to continue helping communities as they recover. We learn from our experiences to better understand our hazards and risks and this means we can keep improving our readiness, response and the speed of recovery. Through this cycle we're continuously striving to build New Zealand's resilience. Although we're most visible when an emergency strikes, it's our prior reduction and readiness work that makes our response and recovery as effective as possible. Civil Defence Emergency Management is a team effort from government to communities to individuals, and you can also contribute. Here's how you can help build your own resilience within your home and community. Consider the hazards and risks in your home and neighbourhood and take steps to minimise them. Have a family emergency plan. Make sure your emergency kits have all the essentials, especially water. Get to know your neighbours and even discuss a neighbourhood game plan about what you will do in the event of an emergency. Look for opportunities to volunteer and make connections in your community. Ensure as much as possible that everyone in your neighbourhood is accounted for after an emergency. Start making connections and put preparations in place now. Communities with the strongest connections and preparedness will likely recover the quickest too. They come out stronger and bounce forward together. Together, let's make New Zealand more resilient.